Welcome to the installation section of your Apollo Power Press training. By the end of this section, you will be able to properly install and instruct others on installation of an Apollo Power Press system. Safety first. When installing Apollo Power Press, always wear proper protective gear. At a minimum, safety shoes, hat, glasses, and gloves should be worn. Tools of the trade. Standard press tools can be used from Milwaukee, Rigid, and Nova Press. Always make sure to use the correct jaws or slings. The press machine must be in good condition and the instructions for operating the device, maintenance, and the manufacturer's instructions must be observed. We partner with Milwaukee Tools, but approve use with other manufacturers. For a complete list of approved tools and jaws, please refer to our literature, which can be downloaded at powerpress.apollovalves.com. Transportation and Storage When transporting and storing Apollo PowerPress fittings, damage and contamination must be avoided. The optimal storage temperature for the fittings is between 50 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Products must be stored in a dry place with a maximum humidity of 65% and be kept in the original packaging until the time of installation. Step 1. Pipe Preparation – Cutting to Length After measuring, the tubes can be cut to length using a tube cutter, a fine-toothed handsaw, or a mechanical saw with electrical motor suitable for the tube material. The tube must always be cut completely through. Never partially cut the tube and break it off as this could cause corrosion. Do not use oil-cooled saws, grinding wheels, or flame cutters. When cutting already installed pipes, always take into account a minimum distance to weldings and bends. A minimum distance of four inches is required for pipe diameters half inch to one and a half inch, whereas six inches is required for two inch pipe diameters. Step two, deburring pipe. The tube ends must be carefully and thoroughly deburred inside and out after being cut to length. This prevents damage to the O-ring when inserting the tube into the press fitting. A file or hand deburrer suitable for the material or an electric tube deburrer may be used. Burrs sticking to the tube must be removed. Step 3. Surface Preparation Pipe surfaces must be smooth, free of indentations, pits and deformations, and must be clean and free of debris, rust, scale, paint, oil, and grease. This can be achieved with a wire brush or a fine grit sandpaper. It is not necessary to completely remove protective coatings or to expose the bare steel material. In order to prevent leaks, engraved or stamped pipe should not be used with Apollo Power Press fitting system, even if the engraving or stamping has been mechanically removed with a grinder or other means. When using painted black and lacquered iron pipe, the pipes should be inspected for excessive paint runs. If runs exist, the surface of the pipe should be smoothed using a fine grit sandpaper and wiped clean before installation. Epoxy coatings on black steel pipe have the tendency to increase the outer dimension of the pipe. The thickness of the coating should be kept to a minimum to allow installation of Apollo Power Press fitting. The maximum allowed thickness of the epoxy coating is 0.0118 inches. If the coating exceeds this dimension, then the pipe can be sanded using a fine grit sandpaper, but the surface of the pipe must be smooth. Step 4. Marking Insertion Depth The required insertion depth must be marked on the male end of the tube or the press fitting in order to guarantee a safe and proper joint. The marking on the tube must remain visible, but close to the fitting, after the connection is pressed. This is imperative to ensure the tensile strength of the joint. Step 5. Pre-press fitting inspection. Before assembly, the fitting must be checked to ensure that the O-rings are present and correctly positioned. The pipe, fitting, and O-ring must be examined for any foreign materials, such as dirt or burrs, which must be removed if present. Step 6. Pipe insertion. Insert the tube carefully into the press fitting up to the marked insertion depth pushing it in the direction of the axis. Be careful not to cock or tilt the tube when inserting into the fitting. Failure to do so may result in damage to the O-ring seal. The insertion depth marking must remain visible. In the case of fittings without a stop, the fitting should be inserted at least as far as the marked insertion depth. 
If assembly is difficult due to snugness of fit, a lubricant such as water or soap can be used. Under no circumstances may oils, fats, or grease be used as lubricants. Time may be saved by first assembling a number of connections and then pressing the various pipe connections one after the other. Before starting the final pressing process, it is important to check the minimum required distances for the installation to ensure that there is adequate room for the press tool to operate. Step 7. Pressing. Press tools consist of a press machine and the corresponding press jaw or sling. Every joint in the system must be pressed in order to achieve a leak-free system. This is a cross-section of the Apollo Power Press profile before and after pressing. The sling profile that corresponds to the diameter of fitting being installed must be used. In some cases, an adapter may be required in addition to the press slings. Apollo Flow Controls guarantees an excellent press connection, provided the tools are used correctly. Before starting to press, the press jaws and slings must be checked for dirt and cleaned if necessary. Furthermore, the press machine must be in good condition and the manufacturer's instructions must be observed. In order to create a correctly pressed connection, the groove of the press tool must enclose the press fitting o-ring bead. Once the pressing has started, always complete the press cycle and under no circumstances interrupt the process. Step 8. Verifying Press Connection Once the tool has fully cycled, the press connection must be visually inspected to ensure a proper connection has been made. When the press tool has fully cycled, the visual inspection tabs will break away, indicating a complete press. In some cases, it is possible for a visual inspection tab to get stuck between the inner diameter of the fitting and the pipe after breaking away, giving off the appearance of an unpressed fitting. This shouldn't alarm the installer, as it will have no bearing on the performance or functionality of the fitting itself. Simply remove the tab by hand, or by using a thin tool such as a flathead screwdriver. Pressure test. Immediately after installation, the system should be checked for leaks prior to applying insulation, paint, or other operations that may obstruct view of the piping joints. Pressure tests must always be performed in accordance with local ordinances. The test medium and the results of the pressure test should be documented in a test report. When testing an Apollo Power Press installation, using water as test media, make sure that no water remains in the system afterwards in order to avoid the risk of corrosion. Pressure test for natural gas, heating and cooling systems, and air. Pressure tests for natural gas and liquid gas systems must be performed in accordance with local regulations. Pressure test of sprinkler systems. Sprinkler system piping must be tested in accordance with local regulations such as NFPA 13 for at least two hours. NFPA 13 requires test pressure to the greater of 200 PSI or 50 PSI above working pressure measured at low point in the system. Dry sprinkler systems must also be tested pneumatically to a pressure of not less than 36 PSI for at least 24 hours. Any leakage which results in a pressure drop of more than 2 PSI over the 24 hours must be corrected. Any faults identified, such as permanent deformations, ruptures, or leakages, must be corrected and the test must be repeated. Flushing. After installation, the system must be flushed thoroughly before being placed into service. This ensures that any foreign matter is removed from the system and helps prevent hygiene problems and corrosion damage. In exceptional cases, it may be necessary to flush the system with disinfecting substances. When flushing with a disinfectant substance, special care must be taken to ensure that no chlorides remain on the inside of the pipes. Always make sure to flush with clean potable water. Underground installations. Apollo Power Press fitting systems and black iron pipe are approved for underground installations. However, any installations must meet all local codes. Warranty All Apollo Power Press fittings come with a 15 year limited warranty from the date of delivery, whereas all Apollo Power Press valves come with a 5 year limited warranty from the date of delivery. You can always consult the Apollo Technical Support Department or Apollo Piping Systems product catalog for more information on Apollo Power Press installation. Congratulations! Your installation section is complete. You can now install and instruct others on Apollo Power Press system installation. Please subscribe to the Apollo Flow Controls YouTube page for our latest videos.